Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose and this is Delilah Spiritual Spot coming with your weekly reading for Libra for July 17th to the 23rd, 2022. We're going to jump right into it using my Oracle card deck here. Um, and we have the underworld. So receiving messages from spirits who have crossed over. So you may have uh, or you may be dealing with someone's death anniversary, um, someone in transition or... Um, and messages from your guardian angels but something is happening you're thinking of someone or you're going through something spiritually that is forcing this not forcing but attracting these messages to you i really feel like it's a cross loved one um you have journey and i like that i like that with the underworld because it is a journey together um just because and I'm going to do a podcast actually on death uh, this weekend. And so uh, you should stay tuned for that. Because I think that um, death doesn't mean an ending of a relationship. It means a different kind of journey. Um, our loved ones are always there to comfort us. Um, they are not here in the physical, but they are there in the spiritual. And anyone can receive messages and connect, right? Through meditation, it really works. Um you know asking for a sign or a symbol and really paying attention to your surroundings they are always there to guide us um and i love that and i, I love that message and it's the reason i do what i do um because it's important for us who are still here on this plane to understand and to connect to that higher energy they're just vibrating um at a higher point than we are so we can't see them but we can definitely feel them when they enter the room when they're there in our dream state you have the five of swords there and i'm not surprised um because we do have that um underworld card and i think that you are having a difficult time you're probably having a difficult time and wishing someone was here and this my Buddha circle here, my Buddha energy is going to represent our general life and our business life. And um, my compass here will be our love directional reading board. Now, sometimes it's the same message across the, the whole thing. And sometimes they tie in because one affects the other. We see what spirit has for you. Having faith. Having faith. So at the center of our personal and love life, we have having faith. In our business and financials, we have this five of swords energy, and that's the internal struggle, and that's our struggle with our finances. So things are out of balance for you, which is very important, especially, especially for leave replacements, because that is your energy, balance. Bringing the balance to others and finding the balance within yourselves is always a struggle. Um, we're going to have the Seven of Swords, right? And then the Ace of Cups. And I love this together because after, I'm sorry, Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. And I love this together uh, because you have been at the ready. You know when you're activated for battle and you stay in that state of, you stay in that state of, I don't want to say anger of that emotion, right? It's like you don't have a time to relax. And with that Ace of Cups, it just is going to bring in a time where you'll be able to relax that um, that at the ready stance uh, because you're going to feel anxious with that, right? It brings feelings of anxiousness and Two of Swords because choices need to be made here. Two of Coins. You never, you never disappoint me, Libra. And I tell you why. You always get a temperance, you always get twos. You always get this need to try to balance it all together. Um, and, and that just goes to your innate self, the three of pentacles. So, you know, you need to be able to ask for help. If you're in financial straight, uh, uh, if you're in financial difficulty um, and you, you may need to lean on someone. And I know that's not a possibility for everyone. Sometimes we don't have um, people to lean on. And if you don't have a person to lean on, then you need to lean on your faith. You need to lean on, um, well, need to is a strong word. They would like you to lean on your faith. 
they would like you to even be able to talk to someone, right? Talking to someone is free, even on the internet. There's people wh who are out there giving free financial advice. I, and I think that's what um, it boils down to, is, is seeking information from either a physical person or on the internet to get some insight and help into this. And I think it's going to come because you've reached the point of a crossroads here where decisions and choices have to be made, you know, and, and hard choices, right? These are not easy choices. But I think that if you take that blindfold off and stop putting it off, right? Because you've been putting this off and putting this off and putting this off. I think that a decision needs to be made at this time because it's just causing you all types of turmoil in, in, inside waiting for that other shoe to drop. We have the two of coins, so balance is coming. You're going to be able to try to figure it out and balance things out. Um, but you need to be diligent with that Knight of Wands. You need to be strong and steady and face this. Uh, the financial stuff won't go away, right? Those collection calls won't go, go away. They'll just reach a height where um, you're going to feel even more overwhelmed than what you're feeling. And I think that spirit is guiding you, and these are the messages uh, you're receiving and I just I just feel like alone right Th that's a sad feeling and this is what I that is the overwhelming energy uh, I get I don't think you have anyone to turn to I do think you're lonely and I do think this this is why that heartache right for for the people who have crossed over is so present um, is so present in your life at this time in this week. And I think that it is a journey. It is a journey for you. Um, but it's one that you're not doing alone because they are coming from the, from the other side. And here is our, our personal readings coming right here. Two of Pentacles again. Two of Coins, Two of Pentacles, same card. Right? So in our personal life, Eight of Cups walking away. Knight of Pentacles and the Lover's card. The Hangman is at the bottom of this deck. I think we need to really look at things from a different perspective, especially in terms of our love life. I think because I feel lonely here, it's interesting that the Lovers came up because if you are in a relationship, you're feeling lonely within that relationship. And many of you have to move on and move forward like leave a certain situation behind and don't look back you need to make choices here you're not feeling grounded relationships are supposed to offer you some sort of stability right whether it, it's it could be financial but mostly it's emotional and if you're not able to communicate with your partner if this overwhelming feeling of loneliness is happening and you don't have a relationship um it, no, if you if you don't and if you don't have a relationship, it's time to seek a partner, seek a partner. And if you are in a relationship and feeling lonely, it's time to make some changes and move forward. I think looking at things and maybe this reading is a catalyst for you. Maybe looking at things from a different perspective can help you. Um, so we have the full card. You do have a lot of faith. Right. So if you are in a relationship, um, there is a sense that this is not working out. And only you can answer that question of whether to stay or to go. But if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling depressed, if if someone is hurting you, whether physically, all physical needs to go. Mental needs to go as well. But, you know, we all know our breaking points, right, in terms of difficulties in relationships. And many of you are thinking about moving on or even moving forward. If you're into something new here, you make sure that your needs are getting met. If this is a new, if you're into so a new relationship, make sure your needs are getting met because people will show you who they are. Like if you're in a new relationship and they don't call you or they miss a couple of days without calling you or they don't respond to your texts uh, in, in a normal amount of time, we understand that people need to work and do other things. But if you are feeling ignored, this is not 
for you. You have needs that need to get met. If you're not in a relationship, it is your time to try to get back out there and pursue it because that's going to bring your balance here. The Knight of Pentacles is very focused. He is moving slowly and methodically. You see, I love this arrow depiction because he's taking his time to find the target. And maybe this is you finding the target as to when to walk away, finding the target as to when to discuss something. Um, but o the overall feeling of this is loneliness. And I, and I think that if you don't take anything away uh, from this reading, is to work on your financial burdens, right? That's because that is affecting you. Um, we are in a state of loss. So maybe you just walked away and this is why we're missing someone. Or I, I truly believe for the most of you, it's someone who actually passed away and we're in that grieving stage. I, I, I think that we need to wake up, right? Wake up from that. It's almost like a grief sleep you're in. And you're just having that energy of loneliness and stagnation for the majority of you. And that's what I'm going to focus on. So it's going to be very pinpointed here. I think that if we are feeling lonely, we need to really seek out partners and energy. And this is not about sexual partners. This is about people who are going to hold space and be with us and we are able to talk things out because I think that's important. I think you need to talk things out to see this other perspective. And right away you have wonder. And I love, oh, this is such a beautiful card. I like wonderment, right? That wondering. Be careful with that, right? Because there's a double-edged sword. I wonder what happens if they didn't go. I wonder what happens if they stayed. I wonder what happens. We don't want to be in that wonder. We want to be in the wonder of possibilities. Once we face um, this loneliness within relationships, within our financial burdens, I think that it will open up the possibilities um, to a better journey and understanding that this is being guided your loved ones are coming forward to say we are still here we're still with you you are not alone and i think that's important for you to hear more than anything else um i'm delilah rose and this is your reading libra thank you for joining me